Well, we have got some boondocks. So, this guy, not really too much aware of, haven't heard much of his music, but I, I have heard this record, and it's called Crimson Creek. So he was on Psychopathic Records, he's yet another person that ICP has on their label. They've actually had quite the host of people to check out. I've kind of taken a little bit of a relax period from them, and it wasn't purposefully. That's the thing. I, I really need to get into some more of the psychopathic records people and start getting their music out because this is some of the um most effective music that you can find as far as rap is concerned so i mean just the whole point of this album is it's, it hits you and it's gonna it it more importantly it hypnotizes your way of thinking so obviously most people are going to have one of two thoughts the first thought is this is for sick people Second thought is, this is en enamoring. And so, the trick to melding these two thoughts is to look past the, the stuff you don't agree with and find ways of having fun in your own type means. So, I'm not saying that I don't endorse or... I like this I like this album and you know really it's actually one of my favorites that I've reviewed this month probably within like the past three weeks even but you know the only thing is is that you know psychopathic records I've noticed that there's not a ton of people who collaborate with these guys tech nine is someone that can get on a song with Eminem and T.I., 2 Chains, all these other people, but it's not necessarily the case with um, you know, Boondocks. So I think a lot of people are going to be wondering who who is he. So my description of him, he just feels as if He's kind of another one of these cats, except he's a solo act. He's not in a group, and it I, I'd say pretty much he's just more of a southern-flavored one, and that's pretty much it, because there actually are some country rap-sounding songs on here, but other than that, this is pretty effective. It just gives you the, the stance that you know, once you get outside the city limits, there's actually just as much fun to be had. And it may not be just some hoedown, but it is, like, this, you know, that sort of environment sends a chill down your spine. And that's something that I think a lot of people will probably enjoy. Uh, but, so, can you smoke to this? I think the answer is, is yes, you can. I feel like Freak Bitch, Walking After Midnight, Outlaw, Path I Walk, and Fear are all some really good ones to smoke to. Possibly Inbred Evil as well. The production, this is the thing. You're going to find some people on here. You're going to find um, the guys from Twisted. You're going to find Blaze You Dead on here. ICP's on here. So all these guys are on here and they coat these songs rather well. And they show up on the best ones. I'm glad that they didn't show up on songs that I didn't really like. And if they did, well, I just, I don't really think they did. Maybe like one song, Trailer Park Creepin', but, um, so Freak Bitch is a good beat. And Inbred Evil, Untold, Unwritten. Cruel, cruel world, or cold, cruel world. These are some ones to look for. 
So, the unheard songs. I like nine songs out of 14. There's an intro. Otherwise, there would be 15. So, the nine songs I liked were Untold, Unwritten, one song, Inbred Evil, Freak Bitch, Walking After Midnight, Love Hate, Cold Cruel World, Outlaw, Path I Walk, and Fear. Now, all of these, I feel like they paint a picture that is kind of really sickening. And I like that. I'm glad that it's not just a walk through a world that... I mean, I've, I've explained this to you any number of times how these images work, but the idea behind it is, is it just you think that something being a dim picture is going to get tiresome, but just the way that the production comes through, it ends up not being the same trip over and over. And then on top of that, you've got a brand new person. If you're sick of ICP, listen to, um, listen to Monoxide Child. If you're sick of him, listen to, um, Esham. I think that's how you say his name. Listen to Brother Lynch. Listen to Tech Nine. There's tons of people, even if they're saying the same thing, they all have their own personalities that go with it. And that's that's kind of the good thing is that you get different views, even if the same thing is being said. It still kind of is. Um, it doesn't get tiresome. That's that's like the brilliant part. I feel like most of these songs are gonna breathe life into someone who, I mean, it. The reason why is it just is so effective because I think most people haven't heard this. And in order to do something like that, you have to be an interesting character because if you can't carry uh, a, a knight. That, that kind of is an indication to your music. So, you know, obviously people who are growing up listening to um, Miley Cyrus. I, I don't want to say Miley Cyrus, but, you know, people who are growing up listening to makeshift people. Miley Cyrus is a wild girl. But, you know, growing up listening to makeshift people and they don't know what to think of something that just sends a chill down their spine, gets them frantic, gets them uppity, you know, it's going to be a good feeling. And a lot of this music on this album will do that. So it's, it's good to have, as long as you don't think, well, horrorcore is boring. You just have to listen to it. you got to understand, what would I want to do? I don't know, this conversation could get going, you know, just the point being, if you're smoking to this, if you're at some park on a Friday night with this, if you're at a lake, you know, you're just playing this music, you got people dancing, this sort of thing is going to cast the spell on you more than makeshift music. So just understand that. Um... I, I'll probably explain this like another 50 times. I think the reason why I'm saying this is just because it's hard to tell the difference between each and every person. So I think the reason why is just because I'm trying to give you a better taste of what to listen to more than the effects of what they're saying. So, yeah, I'm not really listening to the lyrics, but just know that they're good. So, um, the score, I'm going to give this a, okay, I like 9 out of 14. I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. That's really good. Um, you know, really there's only five songs I didn't like, and those are just because it, they just didn't fit with the, I mean, if you're going to do country rap, you've got to make it to where, like, the songs are menacing and stuff. But half of it sounds like an ICP record. The other half sounds kind of like folk rap that just doesn't work at all. 
So eight and a half. The future. I think Boondocks dropped an album recently, and the social score. I will give it a seven social, just because this is a trip you need to take. But at the same time, um, you know, the only people you're really gonna see on this record are the psychopathic. So. It just it, the the thing about these guys is they're just so remote that it's just them and their affiliates more than anyone else, and I think they need a trip like Tech Nine has taken just to get more people invited. But that's what I'm here for is to you know bring more people to this fold. And the 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 biggest thing that you need to realize with this review is just go out and listen to it. You know, check it out. Listen to the songs I mentioned, get infected, and you'll be thinking differently very shortly. So, um, the social score, I, yeah, I'll give it a 7. Can it be topped? That's debatable. So I give this album a 8.5 out of 10 and a 7 social.